This video is about phase 1 of ADN QGIS. It is the field level usage, how to draw the fiber from switch to client, it is being shown here. And here you can see the client has been selected first and it's in bubble type, insert bubble. Once client is selected, you have to select the ODF port number to which it should be connected to. In this particular case, it has been port number 18 via Cisco switch number 2. And the client name has been given as Epic Airways Limited. So this has been added and it is connected to the nearest dome box and from dome box a new fiber line will be drawn so selection of, of line drawing is selected the new lines drawn will be shown in dotted format all the fiber lines will go in 90 percent of the cases along the road route through the overhead lines of power development board or DESA so a number of clicks will be required and also there will be selections needed for what type of cable is inserted or hanged or erected in the overhead lines this table will come up it has to be filled up once it is filled up the again a new item has to be drawn which is in this case the TJ box the TJ box detail has to be inserted what type of TJ box it is in most of the case a unique number will be given to this TJ box or the dome box in this particular case the dome box or the TJ box has been given the name Uttara 10 TJ since it, since it belongs to Uttara pop it is logical that the name should be relating to the pop once it is completed you need to save and it should show saved successfully from the TJ box another cable need to be drawn that, that will terminate to the customer which is the client this is usually named as client cable or customer cable and usually it is also of 4 core cable <coughs> This cable has also to be given a number and the cable ID is usually the marker obtained from the cable at the field. The length is automatically given while drawing the cable or it can be written after observing the cable length that has been drawn in the map. Now the cable terminate to the dome box has to be spliced with a 24 core cable in the dome box. A particular match with a free core at the dome box is needed. So the cable information need to be updated in this table from where the cable has come to which core it is being spliced to in the primary cable which exists between the ODF and the dome box. The splicing is can also be related as per the uh, core color or, or also as per the tube color. Once the particular informations are given, it can be saved. And here in this table, it can be seen that the core colors are exhibited in the particular cells of the table. Once it is all done, the cable information, then the dome box information as well as TJ box information need to be updated. 
Once updated, they need to be submitted to be saved. So here in the table, which is a 24 core ca cable table, the everything has been inserted and saved and it can be viewed anytime later since it is in RDBMS spatial database. We have designed the our site plan network from two starting from the ODF in the pop and going to the client and all the tables are from two starting from the pop going to the client. This table is showing updating of cable information between existing and the new ones. So these need to be done and as uh, number of cables are connected. If it is two cables, two update has to be done. If it is three cables, in between there is a junction box, which are teaser box or dome box. All the information need to be updated. All the information can also be viewed through the get details option in the pop-up menu or pop-up window. Here in this particular case ODF2 in the pop of Uttara has been selected where the updating of information can be seen as well as if you if someone wants to user wants to see the details where she get should. detail button on the pop-up window the balloon window one should then get the details and do some corrections if needed 